Good morning, world. Welcome back to another video. Hey, hey, another video. Hey, hey, another video. Hey, hey, another video. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. TT party of six, gang, gang. So, welcome back. You want to say hi? That's hi. Say, hey, say good morning, world. Good morning, world. Go brush your teeth and get ready. So, today is Sunday. And as you guys know, I know I often come on here and we talk about weight, trying to be consistent, going back and forth with dieting and exercise and falling off on the bandwagon, getting back on and then going hard, etc. Your girl, last week Sunday, she said she was sick and tired of being sick and tired and she just, I just got back to being consistent. Like I just got back to eating right, dieting, exercising the whole nine. Shout out to Ivy from the Soren Seaworth family. Ivy has been going hard with her keto. She doesn't exercise, but she does keto. She's been going really, really hard when it comes to being consistent, consist, consistent and eating and she doesn't, she doesn't diet, she, she doesn't exercise, but she's dieting and killing keto. I wanna say she's down like 12 pounds. But I said that I say this, she does this weekly, a realistic mommy of five, Realistic mommy of five weigh in. So what I want to do is kind of piggyback on Ivy's idea because one, I feel like it'll continue to motivate me to want to lose weight and it continue to make me want to like stay focused and you know, do the right thing. So what I decided to do is that I'm gonna go ahead and tag along with Ivy starting this week. Well, actually I started last week, Sunday. And I'm going to start doing weekly weigh-ins for you guys. So one, I can be more consistent in my life. And two, I can have some accountability when it comes to my weight and just being, you know, healthier. Because I don't, I really want to be a better me. Now, I'm starting today, but I'm doing my first weigh-in from last week. Last week, I forgot to take a picture and all that but I was 193 193 your girl was like in her 180s what happened food <laughs> anyway so I was 193 last week Sunday what I have been doing is I don't do keto I can't I can do keto. I know mm, no, no no I have been intermittent fasting I don't eat from I, I eat from a window of 11 a.m no I don't lie I eat breakfast, and then I eat a very early dinner, lunch. So I normally when I wake up in the morning, I wake up at like six ish, and I go to work. So then after I eat my breakfast, then I go ahead and um, I eat breakfast around like six, seven, and then I eat my lunch at work around like one o'clock. That's normally it. When I come home, if I'm hungry, I eat um, like a tea. I drink tea or water if I get hungry. But other than that, it's really no food throughout my entire day. I guess I'm just reviewing two meals, but I'm fine. It, it depends. I can't give you the exact time. I try not to eat with. I eat within a 16-8. I think a 16-8 window. I'm just all over the place. Chief is me. Anyways, I definitely try to eat between a window of 16 and 8 hours fasting for 16, eating through an 8-hour window. I eat no, I'm trying to do no carbs. Even though if you follow me on IG, you will see that your girl tried the Impossible Whopper yesterday. It was bomb. And every morning, I get up and do an exercise. I love running because it's just therapeutic for me. It's a stress relief for me to get up and run. So I do run between 2 and 3 miles every single day i don't know how i do it i don't but i do it shout out to my friend d her husband um is a fitness um trainer and he gave us a um fitness workout plan that we all uh, my friends are staying consistent with for us to get ready for our sweet retreat part two anyways i'm rambling on but just know that your girl is definitely going to be more consistent you can definitely join me and ivy as we continue to go on this journey of being Wait, you get know, like, hey, I speak. It's, it's early. <laughs> Come join us as we continue to try to be better with for ourselves, for our children, for our family, as we strive to be a better version of ourselves and continue to lose pounds. Now, let's get this weigh in in and see where your girl weighs in right now. And it's already recording, right? All right, all right, good. Okay, let's step on the scale. We got cameraman Willie on here. 
So, Lego. You know, my my feet. Let's see what it's Winning lottery number coming up. Can you see that? Let me see. This is 187.0. Gang, 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 gang. Skill set 187. That means that your girl lost six pounds. And you said six pounds within one week's time frame of being consistent and just being going harder than normal. Bye bye 190 because I was like, bro, how did you get back in the 190s? How, Linda? Listen, Linda. Ultimately, I would love to be 165 pounds. I feel like that's a weight that I'm comfortable in. And that's the way that I feel like, you know, I'm going to still be thick, you know, because I want to be thick, honey. I really want to be a MILF. <laughs> oh, what a MILF. Anyways, so I'm really happy with the results as far as the first week of me weighing in. I do intend to do a weekly weigh in. Like I said, I'm piggybacking with Ivy, taking a little bit of her idea because I thought it would be cool, you know, and it's just going to keep me going. So, Thank you guys for checking out these videos. They won't be long. They'll be short, sweet, and to the point. So first week, first weekend, first week weigh-in was 187 with a drop of six pounds. Six pounds. Thank you guys. So staying consistent, exercising, eating right has definitely been working for your girl. Now, anybody else that wants to join us as we join this, do this journey of being fit and just being more consistent, please come on. Come on, come on over, and let's get right together. All right, you guys, you guys have a great day. Enjoy your day, but for my party, to your party. Goodbye.